Once again, in similar fashion to yesterday, I have been summoned. Blockcast, yapping about America. That's right, I live just north of Yappachusetts. First slide, who made your food? Wait, I covered that yesterday, but I can go more into depth. They say Germany, but who invented German food? You go back far enough, you'll see that most of it comes from the Czech Republic, Poland, and Austria. People give Germany credit for the burger because of ground beef patties. They didn't invent ground beef patties, that was the Mongolians. Who is stronger and bigger? The United States is certainly stronger. As far as bigger Russia is, but most of that land is completely useless. A fraction of what we spend on defense is being sent to Ukraine, a developing country, and they are holding off the Russians. The United States is so resourceful and so powerful that during the Second World War, Pennsylvania alone produced more steel than Japan, Italy, and Germany put together. What's your second language? We don't even have a first one, so why would we have a second one? Who let you win? Referring to 1776. Largely France, Spain, Native American groups, American colonialists, and individuals from like Germany, Poland, and other countries. Needless to say, the British Empire was not a popular empire at the time. Who gave you free land? Absolutely nobody. The deal between Napoleon and the United States cost $15 million, which was a great deal for the United States because the states involved in the Louisiana Purchase are more prosperous than France will ever be. Europe is better, just face it. Well, Kosovo isn't on this map. How old of a map are you using? Why are you always thinking in the past? And can we stop sending you money then if you're so much better, like through NATO, Ukraine, and all of that? So you're so much better, right? So you're good. You can handle the whole Russia situation. You don't need us. Sorry, bud. Pretty much all of your governments completely disagree with you and want to be closer to us. 